Quex. Well, we've all heard about the dangers of distracted driving, but did you know that distracted driving is being blamed for injuring more than a half million people each year? And when these road crashes happen, our nation's orthopedic surgeons are the ones who put the bones and limbs back together. And that's why the members of two prominent orthopedic societies have come together to launch a new initiative designed to make people more aware of the consequences of bad decisions behind the wheel. This morning, I spoke to orthopedic surgeon Dr. Andrew Pollock about this initiative, as well as Aaron Brookins, a 20-year-old crash survivor. Aaron, I'd like to start with you this morning. Share your story. You're a typical young man who has a cell phone. What happened? Oh, it didn't look so good for me. I'm just driving home from my girlfriend's house. It's about 8.30 at night, just starting to get dark out. Um, <clears throat> I'm going back and forth from my cell phone. I just passed a police officer, actually, on the interstate. So I'm going 75 miles an hour, my cruise control set. And I'm kind of going back and forth between this text conversation that meant nothing whatsoever and looking back at uh, this police officer. And I'll tell you how I remember it. I kind of just, in slow motion, coming up, and I see just a big white wall. And what had happened was traffic on the interstate slowed down to about 20 miles an hour. And as you can imagine, I just um, rear-ended the semi and smashed my whole truck back and uh, had several injuries from the accident. Um, two broken femurs. One of them was a compound fracture with a nice baseball size exit wound um, out of the back of my leg. Um, several uh, lacerations to my body. Um, yeah, bleeding needless to internally. And needless to say, you're, you're pretty messed up and it's doctors like Dr. Pollock there that are there putting these uh, parts and pieces back together. Dr. Pollock, I know that's why you're involved in this new campaign. Yeah, Decide to Drive is a, an effort by orthopedic surgeons who put people like Aaron back together to inform the public about the dangers of texting and driving, the dangers of cell phones and driving, the dangers of eating and driving, basically the dangers of distracted driving. We want to encourage people to focus on the road when they get behind the vehicle, be behind the wheel of a vehicle, and not on other things that can distract them from doing that. Aaron, were you surprised by the new study that came out uh, regarding distracted driving, what people had to say about it? Oh, not really surprised. Yeah, they don't want to take no, responsibility. I, right, right. No one, yeah, no one wants to take uh, the blame at all. Doctor, I know we want to talk, too, about what is being called a reckless checklist. So when we get behind the sure, wheel the every day, what are some of the things we should be thinking about? The Reckless Checklist is one of the tools on our website, DecideToDrive.org, that's available to people to look at to help them understand how they can decrease the chance that they're going to be distracted while they're driving. And what it says is that when you get behind the wheel, you need to put the cell phone down. Put the destination into the GPS before you start driving. Look at the map book before you start driving. Finish your food before you start driving. Take care of whatever can be taken care of that's likely to distract you during the course of driving so that you can focus on what's important and that is the road. And Aaron, how can our viewers spread the word about uh, the dangers of distracted driving? And you can send out a personal message right now. Go for it. All right, it's just not worth it. You know, that night <clears throat> when I was driving my truck and I got on my cell phone, I didn't think it was going to happen to me. It did. I spent my summer sitting in a hospital bed with a hole in the back of my leg, you know. Not fun at all. It's, n it's just not worth it, no matter how important the text is at all you know not worth it and where can our viewers go for more information our viewers can go to uh, your viewers can go to decide to drive dot org to find out more about the, the this type of problem and how they can avoid it and they can expect to see television commercials radio ads and and a lot of things over the course of the coming year to try and get the word out about the dangers of these practices all right our thanks to both of you this morning thank you thanks People 